All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, as JKS recommends, is go ahead and pull the four bolts holding this fan shroud on. That way, when we're lifting up the body of the vehicle, we don't end up cracking the shroud with the fan blades. So Dirk over at DPG Off-Road has, uh, in his cheat sheet, recommended that we just make sure that the fan is not pointed up in the 12 o'clock position to prevent that. Um, that's probably enough, um, but the removal of this shroud altogether and just loosening it up is a guarantee. So we'll take the guarantee approach, even though I really don't want to loosen these four bolts, um, but may as well. All right, so now that we have that shroud completely loose, we can go ahead and start uh, loosening up the body mounts. We're gonna do the one front underneath the radiator. We'll do the passenger side. We'll take those out, loosen the driver's side. Um, another good thing about doing this shroud is we are swapping motor mounts with a raised motor mount, so that'll further ensure that we don't run into any issues with that fan. So uh, probably good to do that. All right, while CJ's working on getting that uh, lift puck up into the, uh, <laughs> the body mount that's way up there um, up near the uh, shock tower, um, I do want to show you we have this uh, lifted up the body just enough to get these pucks in. Uh, and what we're doing is uh, the ones along this side. There are five on this side and then we'll get to um, the others later. One thing I do want to mention though is the hardware so you've got these bolts uh, that come with uh, the body mount kit. There are different sizes, so um, we have to make sure we match the bolts with the right bolts uh, as we go through and update that. So. All right, so now what we're doing, uh, we rested the body back on the mounts and CJ's adding some Permatex uh, and ICs on these bolts. And then we're gonna hand start them and kind of uh, just get them started and loose and then go do the other side. Uh, I was kind of torn here on whether or not to use anises or a thread lock. Um, you know, depending on who you ask, one is a better uh, option for this uh, particular environment than the other. Um, but given the fact that I want to make sure that these things are absolutely serviceable and I know that um, NSCs will allow it to, um, to prevent corrosion but also uh, when torqued properly should hold it into place, I think I'm going to go with this. But the JKS instructions do say to use a uh, thread locker, but I'm going with NSCs. We're going to get all these just hand tight. That's probably good, CJ. And then, uh, and then we'll go remove the bolts and add the pucks in on the other side.
All right, so now that we've done the passenger side uh, with the lift and have the driver's side raised, it should be easy to slide this puck in uh, in the front, which is probably the more tricky one. Go in okay? okay. Boom, just like that. If you try and do that first, uh, it won't be nearly so easy, but if you get one side in and the other side lifted, it should slip right in. So I found out that the larger bolts are on the sides and the smaller bolts are on the front and the back. All right, so now that we have the body set back down on top of these new spacers and the new hardware um, installed, CJ is going around and torquing each one of these body bolts. Yeah, then we have a, an inch and a quarter lift already on this bad boy. We just got started. The last thing we need to do for the body lift is uh, replace these rubber uh, radiator bumpers with uh, these longer guys here. So uh, we're going to pull these out. It should just come out. Oh, yeah, just like that. Actually, that one broke off. Um, that's okay. Push that rubber up in there. And then these are going to go in its place, but we're going to want to lubricate. Uh, the end of this with uh, maybe some WD-40 to lubricate this and then we'll shove these up in there. All right, there we go. That is the one and a quarter inch body mount spacer kit from JKS as a part of this DPG Ultimate TJ lift. All right, now there are a couple of finishing touches we would be doing if that's all we were doing. Uh, our fan shroud uh, might need some adjustments as uh, well as a few other things, but we still want to do the motor mount lifts as a part of this project. So we shouldn't have to actually make any fan uh, shroud adjustments or any other bracket adjustments because now we're going to lift the motor uh, in coordination with the body lift. So anyway, um, that's the end of this part though. Next will be the motor mounts. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.